Oh, here's me in all my splendor. All right, so I had the inspection yesterday. And let me tell you, there's some surprises. Old houses. Old houses tend to have issues, and this one has a lot. In some ways, it's it's cool because it, it's been um, kind of left alone. So there are some features in this house that seem to be pretty original, whereas if it had been maintained more, in the course of remodeling over the decades, some things would be gone. But instead, things were just kind of, I don't know. Well, anyway, um, I don't want to go into specifics, but it needs a lot of stuff. And, um, oh, there's so much that's up in the air. Like, <laughs> still, we still don't know what we're going to, um, pay for. Me and this seller our friends and we have a range and um i'm not sure exactly what i should offer i mean there's a number of things that complicate that but one of the things is is the uh oh not so good condition of the house and all of its various repairs that it needs um and what complicates it as well is that on the block that I'm on, there's one place that sold recently for like $240,000. And then there's a place that sold for five hundred. Now, I'm guessing that that was probably some kind of relative deal, but, you know, like ones that sold for a real price, you know, some of them sold for like, fifty thousand. That's some um, that's a big difference. And we're talking about properties that are about the same size as mine. Um the one that's two hundred forty they put in jacuzzis and all kinds of stuff. And the other thing about it is that I am on a border street. Um this house is in Wilkinsburg but it's bordering Edgewood and boy, if you know Pittsburgh, you you could maybe suss out where it is. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care if people know where I live, especially if they send me good things. Yes, yeah, send me electricians. Send me um, plumbers. And uh, oh, you know what is a really good thing to send to me? Send me a good roofer, a really good roofer who who isn't on crack and doesn't frequent underage prostitutes in exotic lands. All right, maybe that was a little specific, but you know, like this roofer dude, I won't, oh God, I need to shut up. Okay, so today I was over at the place. I haven't talked to any contractors yet. Um, it seems as though my relatives are helping me somewhat in working this out and it's, and well, technically, I guess they're not, well, my family's not the sort of family where they give you something. <laughs> they just don't do that. So they're giving me a good deal on, you know, loans or selling my share of the farm. Yeah, yeah, the family farm in South Dakota. Um... <laughs> All right, now I think a lot of my audience is from far away, and even if you're an American, you probably don't have a good sense of what South Dakota is. <laughs> Especially if you're in Pennsylvania, you don't you don't know what South Dakota is. It's it's somewhere way over there. Or wait, am I am I doing that right? See, this is a mirror image. Like you look at my shirt. If you think hard enough, you can tell it says Google. Um. I got that at some Google event because they give away free things and they designed this actually it's a neat t-shirt because it's Google Pittsburgh alright go ahead read that backwards and that is the Smithfield Bridge or I mean it looks most like the Smithfield Bridge than any other bridge and one fun fact about my fair city 
my major city here, Pittsburgh, is that there are more bridges in this city than any place in the world except for Venice, Italy. <laughs> I think. Um, anyway, it's it's definitely way up there, and if I don't know how they tally this up, because sometimes you cross little bridges and they're like, I don't know, they're just tiny, but there are bridges all over the place here. There's three rivers, there's all kinds of hills and valleys. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's there's tons of bridges here, and I remember a long time ago, mm, I guess it was the 90s, there was some website that talked about Portland, Oregon being Bridgetown, and I was like, what? What the hell are you talking about? When I was in Portland, I, I was pissed off all the time, because I'd go to the river, and I'd be like, oh, I can't cross the river because there isn't a bridge here. If this was Pittsburgh, there'd be like four in the space. Well, anyway... I love Portland. I, I do love Portland, Oregon. It's a beautiful place. And um, sometimes I wonder if I should have stayed there. I don't know. I'm all right here. But um, my life would have been quite different if I hadn't come back. But anyway, that was a long time ago that I was hanging out there. Anyway, um, so today I went back to the house and... You know, I thought maybe I should call contractors, but it's like, who do I call first? I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, I think probably the plumber, though I should talk to the electrician. See, the thing is, is that these these guys, you got to, aside from getting the cash together, you have to schedule them. And um, it would be really nice if I had the cash in hand, then I could just call them right now. But I don't want to, like, call them and have them say, can I come tomorrow? I actually don't think that that's, I don't know. Most most of these guys are pretty busy, as most reputable um, contractors are. Um, but, uh, you know, and it's, it's, it's also like figuring out what to do, because like, well, the building inspector, he was really cool. He, he gave me lots of scenarios as to like, um, electrical because I told them about talking to this one company and I won't say who they are but actually they're they're pretty good and I think I might go with them because my impression at the time was that um that though the price for doing the whole house was a lot that it's it sounded fair to me and that's a lot of that is based on my own experience in um doing electrical work which I wasn't supposed to do but you know I did it I know something about wiring and other things, but I don't know. Um, it's dangerous, but um, anyway, I quoted the price to the home inspector, and he says, you know, actually, that's a pretty good price for this big house, because it is a big house. It's, it's listed as being four bedrooms, but I would call it five, and um, if you really wanted to, it could be a six-bedroom place, though... Um, I'd say one bedroom would be pretty small. There'd be one tiny bedroom and there would be one small bedroom. Um, but, I, you know, like I, I think it's more comfortable at five bedrooms if if you wanted it to be that, you know. But whatever. Um, so, like, a lot of it depends on different things. Like, I thought... If we had a roommate take over the third floor, then it would be worthwhile to go and get the whole house done. Now, if you have another roommate, that complicates things, because what if they're a jerk? What if we're jerks? Um, but it also could mean we have a live-in cat sitter and vice versa. Um, so, I mean, like, Instead of spending six thousand or thirteen thousand dollars, we could only spend like six thousand on getting wiring done, or maybe even less than that. I don't. I don't know how much a really basic thing would be. Because when I had the electrician walk through, I pretty much was like, "Oh, let's let's just figure out what it would cost to get everything I want," and that's like. Um, a washer dryer on the second floor with like 
you know, all kinds of fancy stuff, vents for the bathroom, blah, blah, blah. I think the only thing I wasn't necessarily concerned about was central air conditioning because I've lived all my life without central air conditioning, um, which is unusual for an American. But anyway, um, except for in a few rare exceptions, most of my adult life has been without central air. Um, okay, but who cares about that? Anyway, um, so, yeah, I, he said that the price he quoted me was good, and I kind of believed him at the time, and, and my home inspector, he was a really cool guy, um, agreed. He was like, wow, that's a good deal for this place. But, um, if we had a roommate, and we went whole hog with all the electricity then and we charged them a nominal amount to be roommates with us but have a large space like they wouldn't have their own kitchen they'd have to share a kitchen with us but they'd have more than one room because it's just easiest to split off the third floor from the rest um, and then they'd have their own bathroom you know it, it would be pretty damn luxe you know not quite like a full apartment cuz I don't know well there's a kitchenette up there but I don't think I'm gonna get that going okay I would get no not yet not yet that that's gonna wait cuz I mean actually I kinda like there's a sink in there that's dead and I actually don't like where it is you know I wanna move it so anyway um Outside of that, I just wanted to make a quick note, too, that um, in my Etsy searches, um, of course, the tree content, woohoo, woohoo, um, there is a corseteer, and I don't know if I'm saying that correct, um, called Gem Corsets out of England, and um, I, you know, as per my habit of doing an Etsy search on underbus corsets size 22 I came on her store and I found one and um, wow what a hip spring in fact I looked at that and um, it's it's really a very dramatic hip spring so it almost seemed like it would be too big for my ribcage so she also had a size 20 that I think could work on my body. I mean, I'd have to train down to it. And I'm not really into the fabric on it. Um, it's kind of a sample. She's pretty new, but um, this place is called Gems Corsets, and I'll put a link below. And a part of me doesn't want to do that because I'd rather it be secret. <laughs> but considering that I cannot afford to buy a corset now, I might as well spread the word. Um, she makes interesting corsets, and um, maybe she deserves a business. I have no idea. I mean, she's apparently she's been making corsets for six years. I, this is just based on reading her biography, and she doesn't really have any feedback. Um, but if you're interested in a corset that has dramatic curves, check out Gem Corsets. She has some pretty affordable pieces out there right now and I haven't looked at I don't know her whole inventory um, but you know she might be somebody to check out there's so much anyway um, let's see anything else uh, maybe I should shut up okay so yeah I'm, I'm just hanging out drinking a beer um, I'm still I think about corsets but I'm not really going to get any. Um, I'm really thinking about this house and getting things together, and there's so many things to do. So, like, what I did, well, you know, I just have been doing other things that don't need outside help. Um, but anyway, that's all that's been going on with me, and uh, that's, I hope everybody's having a great time doing whatever you're doing. All right, bye.